Hey, the Mad Hermit here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a prefab using Unity 3D and the Dungeon Kit assets provided by Portalarium for Shroud of the Avatar. Let's get crack a lacking. I hit the space bar so I can make this full screen and what you see here are a few assets that I pulled from the Dungeon Kit and I placed them here in the scene view. Uh, just to make my life a little easier. It's kind of like a painter's palette. I want to have all the tools I'm going to be using for this. So I'm going to make a 3x3 three three room. So I'm going to quickly uh, click a floor tile. I'm going to hit Control D and I'm going to drag one to the left. Control D allows me to copy. So I'm going to do it again. Control D, make another copy. And now I have three tiles. I'm going to hold down Shift. And now I have three tiles selected. So when I hit Control D, <coughs> it allows me to copy all three. I'm going to hit Control D again and copy those three and I've got essentially my room. I got my door over here and I'm going to add some uh, corners. So here's a corner which I'll just slap here. Control D makes a copy, drag it over here. E put, uh, pulls up the rotation orb which allows me to rotate it. Control D, now W. I'm going to drag it over here. E again and rotate. Control D to copy. W so that I can move it. And E to rotate again. So I've got my corners and now I'm going to grab this bad boy, this wall. Control D, W, E to rotate. Let's drag him, W, and put him into position. I think I'm going to rotate around a little bit so we can see what we got going here. We need one more wall it looks like. So let's control D, drag him, E to rotate, W, and slap him into position. And he looks like he's off because he's floating in space. Let's drop him down. Whoop, wrong piece. Drag him in and down. All right, I'm going to save, control S. And so here is my little room and it wasn't too painful to make as you can see I'm going to fly down into it so we can kind of peer around and look at the ceiling and all that and so it looks good um, but if I want to make another one do I want to go through that whole process again probably not and that's where prefabs come in handy so how do we make a prefab I'm gonna save this again alright I'm gonna hit the space bar to toggle back into this view and what I'm going to do uh, to make a prefab is I'm going to create a game object, an empty game object, which you could do with Control Shift N. And so there's my game object. I'm going to label it. I'm going to call it TMH for the Mad Hermit Room and 3x3. Three three. Hit Enter. And where did my game object go? There it is at the bottom here. So that's my empty game object. And what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to want to uh, co uh, collect all the assets that I want to shove into this. Let me do that again. And I'm going to drag them into my room. Now you see this TMH room object that I created that is empty? It has nothing in it. It doesn't have a little flag on the left because it's not a prefab yet. Uh, and it's black. When it's blue, that means it's a prefab, like all these guys are blue. And they all have arrows, which kind of show anything that was any, any components uh, or assets that were added to them. Um, so I'm going to drag this into the room. And so I've dragged all those loose components, and I've kind of put them in this bucket of the TMH room 3x3. Three three. And as you can see, if I now have a down arrow that I can open, got all my goodies in there, that's everything. And now if I... Uh, deselect and select my room you'll see that all those assets uh, are selected so that's great now how do we create a prefab we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go into the crowd the mad hermit and I'm going actually I already did I created a prefab folder it's empty right now and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this empty object and that's we needed that, that empty object because that's how you you know you need to put everything in a bucket and so that's I'm gonna drag that into the prefabs and you see I have a prefab now this is my prefab and what does that mean this thing turned blue we're gonna to want to delete this though so let's delete that and if I want to add one of these prefabs to my dungeon I just drop it there you go control all F kind of brought it back to uh, to my view here let's bring this up and over so we could see it and I just I just quickly created a copy and if I need another copy 
I just drag and drop. And the same thing, Control Alt F, bring it over here. And I've just created a second room and they're identical. And so that's the power of the of the prefabs is you can just make a bunch of these if you want just by dragging and dropping. And that's really that really comes in handy. So prefabs are powerful in that if I want to make a change to one of these prefabs, like this one, let's say, this room, I want to make a change to it. Let's say I want to change the floor here. I don't like that floor piece. It's letting me know I'm, I just I hit the delete key. It's letting me I'm gonna, letting me know that I'm going to lose uh, a, a, the connection with the prefab if I do this. So fine, I'm going to do that. And now you can see it turned black, meaning it's kind of not associated with the prefab anymore. I'm deleting that piece, and let me get another floor piece just to show you. So here's a broken floor piece, and I'm going to drag that in here and see if I could drop it in and you can see that this piece has I'm going to deselect it for a second you can see I'm going to hit the space bar um, that it's got like a broken picture frame or something in so it's different than the clean floor that I had in the original prefab so I'm going to drag that around fly that into the the hole that it needs to go into plug that and now you can see this one is different than that one this is the prefab this is the you know the disconnected prefab. I'm gonna hit space bar and what I could do with that now is let me find that piece. That piece is not part of the prefab. So I'm gonna drag that into that room and now I've kind of put it in the box, all right, of this TMH room that is disconnected from the prefab. And if I don't like it I could revert over here in the project inspector or I could hit apply if I like that change. And if I hit apply, you're going to see that that broken piece is, it's going to be applied to all copies of that prefab. So you'll see that broken piece appear here as well as here. So let's hit apply and see that happen. There you go. So now I've made a change to one and it has affected all copies of it. And that's the power of prefabs. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. And I'll see you next time.